Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. First up, PNL Patreon Family Birthday shout out to Jardine Makala. Jardine is nine years old today. Now, Jardine, he's the son of Chantal Blake Makala. You remember that Chantal? She was killed and her body dumped. No, because it's Jardine's birthday today. I won't say what's on my mind about his father, Shane Makala. Jardine, your mom's relatives, they are asking us to wish you a happy birthday today. Jardine, let's hope that you'll be enjoying your day today. It's over one year since your mom has been taken away from you. Jardine, wherever you are in Canada right now, let's hope that today you'll be enjoying your day and may you live to see lots more. This evening at 6 o'clock, all road leads to Sunshine Plaza at West End Road in Negril. That's the plaza where security officer Delan Hardin was murdered by police officers assigned to SeaTac and his co-worker Garwin Williams was shot and seriously wounded. Delan's candlelight vigil will be held at the plaza later. Now, I have spoken to Garwin and there is a whole lot more to come on this story. But you know what? We are waiting to see how things are going to play out. Garwin, he was shot in his head. He wasn't grazed by a bullet to his face like we were led to believe. In fact, a bullet is stuck in Garwin's head. He has been doing all kind of surgery to try and remove that bullet. Garwin, he is in high spirits. Garwin, stay strong. My viewers, my subscribers, there is a whole lot more to come. Stand by. Stay tuned. <laughs> Why may I tell you? Now, before I go into today's stories, I carried a story yesterday. It was about an incident that took place at Bamboo Top District at Marchtown in the Green Island Police Area in the parish of Hanover. I told you that the allegations are that a guy named Michael Williams, also known as Bobby Six, on Sunday, he accused another young man of stealing parts of his motorcycle. An argument developed and it is alleged that Bobby Six, he pulled a gun and opened gunfire at the other guy, hitting him to the side of his head. Well, I have spoken to Bobby Six mother this morning. Bobby Six mother, she is denying that it was a gun that Bobby Six used to injure the other guy. Listen to this conversation. Hello, morning. Good morning. Yes. All right. I know that you're a fear person and I listen to your program all the time. Mm -hmm. And this incident that happened in March Town, in Bambuta, March Town, it is nothing like that. I was there. I, I am the mother of, of Michael Williams. And I was there. I was trying to to, 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 to get this, this thing under control. You know, yeah? Mm -hmm. It was a machine he used to, 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 to chop him. It is not a gun, you know? Mm -hmm. So... You know, I just want you to know that you is, you said all the time if you, if you get the story wrong. No, 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 I, no, no, I don't get the story wrong, you know. That's the allegation that was made to this to the police. That was what was reported to the police and that's what I carried. But I went down to the young man this morning and, and I spoke to him and he said he never tell the police anything like that. Well you, you need know? well you need you need to go talk to you need to talk to the police, not the young man. <laughs> That is what you need to talk to the police who is investigating it and find out what type of report was made. Yes. Yeah, man, because that's the report that was made to the police. That, oh, okay. That, that, that the guy draw a gun off him and shoot off him. So. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. So. I went down there a while ago and after somebody brought the, the, the phone to me because I didn't see it. I didn't, I didn't even listen it because I haven't listened to anything mm -hmm. since yesterday. Mm -hmm. So somebody brought it to me this morning and I and I was listening there and so I put on my clothes and I went down there because he Down was, there where? Down there where? The station? No, I went down to his um, So why why you don't go to the why you don't go to the station and make your son go to the station? That's what I'm telling him to do, you know, but, but I was telling him before that 
that he must go in, you know, because go into the police. But now that, now that, now that, I, 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 we didn't even know about any gun, you understand? Yes, yes, yes. Because all the community saw him, everybody came out and was looking, everybody, everybody saw what happened. You know. Yeah man, that's that's a report that was made to the police that um the guy draw a gun and shoot a fire and him run and him escape. That is a report that was made to the police. And no, and nothing private. That's that is what that is what the police investigating. So they want they want your son now to shoot the guy. God have mercy. So instead of going to the guy, next thing if if, if you keep if you go back to the guy, you know, next thing you go here say so you intimidate him or you threaten him. And if, yeah. and if and if you do that, you are in a serious problem. So you don't need to go to him and say anything to him. You need to go to the police. And if you have witnesses as to exactly yeah. what happened, as to exactly what happened, you carry them to the police and make the police take them statements. Yes. Yeah. yeah, man. So do that. Do that because you, right yeah. now, right now, the police have your son as a gun, man. <laughs> so you need. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so you need. You need to go in and deal with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. Yeah, yeah man. Cool. So you heard that. And mother, mother, and you, Bobby Six, my encouragement to you is going to the police. You are now wanted by the police. All right? Now, in today's news, this incident, it took place last night, Monday, March 6, about 10 o'clock. It took place along the Smithfield Main Road in the parish of Westmoreland. So what we are learning is that that guy on your screen, his name is Derval Cunningham. On December 17, just gone, Derval, he celebrated his 32nd birthday. It is said that Derval, he was a farmer and he lived at Smithfield in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that Derval, he was riding his bicycle along the Smithfield main road. He was riding on the left side of the road and heading towards Ferris direction. We are told that a Toyota Carola motor car was coming in the opposite direction. It is said that that Toyota Carola motor car, it overtook a trailer and hit Derval off his bicycle. The car did not stop. Derval, he was thrown from his bicycle onto the asphalted road and that was it for Derval. He received serious injuries and from all indication, Derval died on the spot. Now, like I said, the car that hit down Derval, it did not stop and we are told that the driver... He did not report the accident either. Sad indeed. And talking about sad indeed. This one. Very, very sad indeed. It took place last night. Monday, March 6, about 11 o'clock. It took place at Berkshire District in the Betteltown Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, what we are learning is that that lady on your screen, her name is Keisha Walters, Keisha is about 38 years old and it is said that Keisha, she was the community hairdresser. Beside Keisha is her son, Joel. Joel celebrated his fifth birthday on January 5. We are learning that Keisha and Joel, they were living in a two-apartment house at Berkshire. The house is made of board, but the flooring of the house is made of concrete. Last night, about 11 o'clock, neighbors, they heard five-year-old Joel crying. But the neighbors, they didn't pay much attention because it is said that Joel, he usually give his mom some trouble. And whenever she beat him, that's how he would cry. We are told that moments later, it was observed that Keisha's house was on fire. The fire department and the police, they were contacted. We are told that neighbors, they tried Hard, very hard, but they couldn't put out the fire. A unit from the Savannah Lamar Fire Department responded, but by the time they reached, the house was completely destroyed by fire. The fire personnel, they were only able to do cooling down operations. Now, when checks were made, the charred remains of Keisha and her son Joel were found in the house. We are told that Keisha's remains were found on the bed. Persons are wondering if it was Joel who was playing with fire, resulting in the house burning down. The police, they are saying that so far, no foul play is suspected. Sad indeed. Condolences to the family and friends of Keisha and 
five-year-old Joel. May their souls find rest. Now, in this next incident, this one took place early this morning, about some minutes after 3 o'clock. It took place in the Bronx area of Rosites in the parish of St. James. We are learning that the St. James police, acting on intelligence, they carried out a raid at an abandoned building in the area and bingo. One Glock 9mm pistol with the serial number intact affixed with a magazine containing 8 rounds of 9mm cartridges were found in the abandoned building. We are told that no arrest was made in connection with this find. But congratulations to the St. James Police for making this recovery. And intelligencers. Intelligencers, enough respect. We are learning that a man was killed on the sidewalk along Jimmy Cliff Boulevard in Montego Bay early this morning. This man, he was found in a pool of blood lying on the sidewalk with a wound to his head. A building block that was used to inflict the wound to his head was found beside his body. Now, we are gathering the details and we'll be updating this story in a subsequent video. Stand by for that. But in the meantime, the mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. If you noticed, we are now over 163,000 subscribers. Once again, enough respect. Yeah, man, over here, so we give you credible information. You see, <laughs> we don't care who I'm um, vexing with talking. I, mean, I tell you the truth, you know. We do not care who I'm um, vex when we give you the news. We don't set out to tarnish nobody's name. We don't set out to tell lie for nobody. We come here on a daily basis and we try to give you credible information. We don't pick side. We do not pick side from foolishness. I go on. <laughs> we are going to talk about it. And who want Bex? What me say? Who want Bex? Finish it. Drop it in the comment section below. Yeah, man. Who want Bex? <laughs> so, in the final story for today, that man on your screen, his name is Omar Stewart, but Omar was popularly known as Coco. On June 4 this year, Coco, he would be celebrating his 40th birthday. Coco was a ganja farmer. He also operated a shop in his yard at Beeston Spring in the parish of Westmoreland. Coco, he wasn't only a weed farmer. We are told that Coco, he was involved in the trade are you following me now we are learning that last night monday march 6 about some minutes to nine o'clock coco he was sitting inside the shop that he operates at the front of his yard we are told that another man was also sitting in the shop a hoodlum entered the shop pulled a gun and opened gunfire at coco coco he managed to run out of the shop but another hoodlum was in the yard it is said that Coco, he ran straight into the other hoodlum who was in the yard. The hoodlum opened gunfire at Coco. Coco fell to the ground and both hoodlums, they stood over Coco and pumped bullets in his head and his upper body. PNL Patreon family. I'm going to drop a photo over on Patreon so you can see how the hoodlums dealt with Coco. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. From all indication, Coco died on the spot. The police were informed and when they processed this crime scene, we are told that a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. Silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, cry with a 
mash up Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica. Crime it a mash up Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica. I could a sunshine a rain, Jamaica. No problem, no pain. Good boy them no go can't take, but me want me go chiba, give me me go chiba. Murder, don't you be a bit me here, them a murder Cut it out, tell them you're gonna 